Okay, so I'm gonna try to build for switch using MySys 2 under Windows. Okay, see the upstream WPE for directions. I've already built for native platform. We're gonna assume you've already built the PC port. Obtain the tool chain and dependencies. You can install these using DKP Pac-Man. So, we gotta set up uh, those libraries following MySys 2 instructions, great. here for getting started. That's what we're doing. So Windows, if you already use MySys2, you can add, yeah, that's what we're going to do. Installing, do, 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 customize existing. Okay, so add the, let's open up our existing MySys2 and we'll do it 64 bit. And we'll set these environment variables. Okay, first import the key. These, notice how it says if you're using MySys2, don't use sudo. So we just do this without sudo. Mm, I need to keep this prompt on top, it's annoying. Is there an always on top? Don't use Windows often enough. We're gonna, how do I get this window to stay on top? Window options, minimize, maximize. I don't see a stay on top option. <laughs> okay, and then we're going to uh, assign this whatever. Okay, then install the keyboard. The mice issue should ignore the pseudo part. Yes, I understand. Add the device code repository. So you know you require two. Edit this file and add these lines. Okay, that seems simple enough. So yeah, we're gonna proceed with that. And then we're gonna edit. I think I have nano here. Okay, back to this. Cetra backslash pacman.conf. And page down to the bottom. Add these lines. What are these lines? For this and for Windows. Okay. So we want this line and that line. We don't need the middle one, but I'll just delete that out afterwards. Paste. Okay, we needed that. And then... Whoops, control K. DKP, we don't need Linux, we just need that. Okay, now resync the database. All right, so let's save this. Sync the database sudo pacman syu. <laughs> sudo, yeah, that's the point. You don't use sudo for uh, for mysys. Okay. And now I think we're ready to start installing a uh, port switch libs. So we can install this stuff. Assuming once this is done syncing, we should be able to install that whole list of stuff. Should have told it no card or something. Copy. one paste okay there's a let's get rid of that there we go yep okay so now we're installing the stuff we need next we're going to actually install that this will take a couple minutes but obtain the switch branch of this repo okay we can do that we can 
can start doing that in another one. Programs. This is 64 bit. Yeah, that. Cool. Got another another window open. Okay, and where's the one that's already going? Good. It's still going good. Okay, so over here we're going to obtain the source switch of this repo. Okay, so let's find of this repo. Switch branch of this repo. Let's hide this stuff so I can see what repo are we on. This one is the repo name. Copy. Just copy from there. And uh, go back to the prompt that's not doing anything. And git clone github.com F. I thought I'd pasted that, but it's not pasting. Uh, what's this weird stuff going on here? Slash. Oops. Slash. FGS. Yes. Slash SM64EX. Branch. Switch. Okay. Fatal destination. Oh, we already got it. Right, because I've already done this before. Let's call this one uh, Switch EX. Already got a SM64 EX folder, so I had to give it another name, but that's fine. Switch EX is a good name. And uh, so here we're downloading it. In this other window, we're still probably installing uh, Switch libraries. I'm not very good at this. Multiple windows. Sorry, I don't use Windows as my primary operating system in years, and so uh, sometimes I forget the basic switching Windows stuff. Okay, so that's downloaded. We need a ROM in there. Okay, well, this is still going, right? Yep. Okay, so let's change into that Switch EX folder. Let's copy a ROM. I probably have one in... Uh... Yep, I have one in my other Switch uh, folder. Okay, so now I've got the ROM in there. I got that in there. Uh, you will need to see what instructions say to do next, but they're going to say to source this and then build. So I'm ready to build as soon as these libraries are done installing. Okay, so I'll just wait for that because there's not much I can do. I guess I could, I could type, a, get the command ready. Okay, uh, we're going to source dev kit pro. Man, ready to paste. Wish both the paste. Uh, I don't like it when it does that. Okay, uh, sh, and then we're gonna make. I'll just put that on the same line so that we uh, are ready to hit enter. Okay. Do -do 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 -do. We, this is a very low resource br uh, virtual machine, so I'm probably gonna close out this browser while it actually builds. Uh, we could do 60. Uh, frames per second first. Yeah, just to show how to do 60 frames per second, let's do that. Can I open another window from here? Yeah, I can. Cool. So, just for the fun of it, I'm going to do it in another window. A switch EX, I called it. So, to apply that, uh, get apply enhancements 60 FPS. Okay, now we've applied the 60 frames per second patch, so it'll come out 60 frames per second. Um, and that's about it. Next. Yeah, I'm not going to actually run it because I don't have a switch. We're just going to build it, so that's good. That's good. Uh, this is done. Okay, so I can close that one and start the build. Okay, that's not a good sign. Switch bars. Device Kit Pro was not set, but it was. Didn't I set it myself? This is probably gonna fail. That first source did not uh, did not find. Oh, but I had already set the manual. This probably will work. This probably will work. Let's wait and see. Uh, it's probably gonna take a while. Uh, as I was saying, this is not the um, most powerful virtual machine, and in the primary machines, a 10-year-old laptop in the first place. And I've only given this one CPU in here, so uh, probably take like 10-15 minutes just to build. Um, may I stop? I'm going to wait and make sure it starts going good. Right now it's just extracting the ROMs is the first step before it even starts to build, but it did have to 
build a tool first before it started extracting the ROM, so this is a good sign. Oh, hey, it's done. All right, cool. So, uh, set, mm, make, uh, please set device skip pro in your environment. Yeah, well, that's what I was saying. Uh, I don't think we got to build. Yeah, we don't have a build. Um, see, we that first that I couldn't that first thing I tried to do source didn't work because there's no device skip pro. There's no. Uh, So where is the LS? There it is. Okay, well that's weird. Pretty easy to set. Uh, export dev kit pro equals slash opt slash dev kit pro. Should be easy enough. Now can I source that switch bars? I can. Okay, now make will work. Why, uh, maybe I missed a command when I was reading through the instructions because I'm familiar with this. I knew that that was the problem. Now it is going to work. 